Hey guys, welcome back to another Profound Studios tutorial. Uh, I know it's been a while and I apologise for that, but um, I've had quite a bit of uni work to catch up on. Uh, I've had computer problems and I've been doing quite a few mix and masters for people, which has been really good. Um, but hopefully we can get back on track now and for today's tutorial, I'm going to take you through how to make a tech house baseline in Serum like the pros. And I'm also going to show you some cool techniques, how you can just kind of make it your own as well. And also going to show you ways that you can make your baseline really catchy in terms of the actual pattern itself. So um, yeah, let's uh, jump straight in. Alrighty, so here we are in my FL. Uh, I've got Serum open, which is what we're going to be using to create the base. So um, yeah, let's just jump straight in. Uh, I'm going to go to analog and down to basic shapes and with this here we're going to turn it into a square wave. Um, I'm using a square because it's, I would say it's definitely the most uh, powerful uh, waveform for um, a tech house bass line. That and probably a saw wave is also good. But um, yeah, we're going to go with a square. We're going to lower it three octaves. Uh, we're going to make sure our filter is on and we're going to have the A box ticked which means the sound from oscillator A will be coming through the filter. Next, we're going to put the envelope here, envelope 1, we're going to drag it onto the filter and then using this here, that's this controls how much the filter is going to open up when it plays. So let's just have a listen to what we've got at the moment. We've got a MIDI prepared just to kind of see where we're at. You hear how this is opening it up, and so when I in increase it and then closing it like that, it gives it that subby techie sort of feel. We'll go about 60 Hertz, put this to about 15 I think. Next we're going to play around with the the attack hold DK sustain of the sound. Um, so we're going to increase the attack just a touch. Uh, the hold can stay where it is. The DK is, depends whether you want a real sort of in your face sort of bass line or not. I mean it's really up to you. The sustain, we're going to lower it to make it a bit more. See that's made it a bit more plucky, not so much in your face. And we're gonna relieve relieve the actual increase the release just a touch. I mean that's up to you though, I mean you might want it to be it's a, that's your call, but for this base we're just gonna leave it at about 15 milliseconds roughly. <clears throat> and that's that's literally it um, for the creating the sound wise. Next, we just kind of want put some effects on it. We'll add some distortion, um, EQ it obviously. You can do that in Serum, or you can use your FL or Ableton EQ or whatever EQ you do use. Um, Hyper Dimension is also a cool one to play with. That's going to make the sound a little bit wider if if that's what you'd like to go for. Um, but first, let's just play around with uh, the distortion. Okay, next we're going to put the hyper dimension on. And that's just gave it a bit more width. It's really up. That's optional, of course. And then we can EQ it here in Serum.
that'll do with that. And I mean, you can also put on a compressor, which is pretty important for if you're creating sounds from scratch. Um, we'll put that bef uh, before the EQ. Alright, let's just organise these. Oh. Okay, and then that's pretty much it. That's literally, that's your typical kind of groovy sort of sub. Um, take out space. We're gonna apply the side chain and we'll have a listen. Another cool thing you can do to add a second sort of layer to the sound is we can turn oscillator B on and we can go down to basic shapes again and we'll go here and we'll turn this down to minus two octaves so an octave higher than this sound that's going to stop it sort of clashing the two sounds clashing together because essentially this is just a second layer to the sound so we're going to also make sure that B is ticked here so as, as I explained earlier, so this, I mean, sorry, this makes sure that oscillator B will come through the filter. So let's just have a listen to how that sounds. Just turn it down a touch. See how it's gave that second layer to the sound? We'll listen to it turn with it off. And now with it on. So let's give that another layer, which also, if you're kind of struggling with um, having like what note, what key your bass line should be in, um, this is a great way to, um, to kind of correct that. You can just add another layer, an octave higher, and that kind of will fix it up for you really. And um, yeah, I mean from here, you can do heaps of cool stuff. You could do pitch bend if you like. Um, say if we just go 12 semitones and we can go uh, browse, click pitch bend. There's heaps of cool stuff you can do um, to make your bass line kind of more original. Let's just go see what this is like. Solo the bass line. See so yeah, that's gave it a bit more of a groove. Boom, bump, 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 bump. Which is something cool to think about as well. But um, yeah, that's it for this tutorial really. Just wanted to show you how simple making a tech house bass line can be. And to make it sound really professional like the you know the uh the top dogs of the game so um yeah that's it for today um i hope this helped you um if it did i'd really appreciate if you click subscribe and you like the video it helps me out a lot and um yeah comment below your thoughts and what you'd like to see next because i'm always looking for more ideas on what i can show you guys so um don't be shy in the comments um yeah, hope everyone stays safe and um, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.